Hey everyone. Give me one sec while we kinda make sure we're all set up. Okay. Hey everyone. It's Deb from the Maniology team. We are back with our weekly live every Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. You can find us here on another nail stamping journey. Whether it's tutorial, technique, or hack, we're here to discuss the details and we're so happy you could join. Also, we know you never want to miss a Maniology live, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you love our videos. Remember to share our content with your friends and feel free to leave a comment with suggestions for future content. Also, I just want to give you all a little bit of an update. Just a heads up, Tuesday, July 4th, our offices will be closed for the holiday and this also means that the Maniology team will be taking a short break. But don't worry, we'll be back next week Tuesday, or I guess the week after, July 11th. So make sure to turn on your YouTube notifications. And the last reminder I wanted to tell you about is, have you checked out the Maniology email lately? We're launching new merch every month, so just go to our site and check out the latest styles just released yesterday. Over six new styles for you to choose from. So make sure you take a look at all those fun things. Now we are here to discuss flames. And as Kara said, it's gonna get hot in here. Um, Tiana is still on vacation, so Kara's helping out. Everyone say hello to Kara. Hi, Grandma Mimsy. Hi, everybody. Oh, it's Wednesday in Australia. That's right, because I think you guys are, what is it, like 22 hours ahead? Or is it more? Okay. Yes, and you spelled Kara correctly, Karen. Perfect. <laughs> Yay. Hey, everybody. Okay, so today we have a lot to discuss. We are going to be talking about plate M372, the new flame plate. It is so cute, and there are quite a bit of options that you can do with this. So, I don't even know where to start. Mm. Okay, that wasn't true. I do know where to start. We are going to start with... Devil here to see your tutorial. <laughs> Hi, Grandma Mimsy. Um, so there are so many options for this plate. We are going to be doing layering. We're going to be doing all kinds of cool stuff. So I can't wait to show you. Okay, we're going to start off with easiest to hardest because I think it'll just be a little bit easier for everyone. If you want something simple, there's simple options for you. If you're want, wanting something more complex, we've got that too. So first we're gonna start with this. I just use the concealing base and then I use a coat of, I think it's like called Planet Silk from our Moonbeams collection. So I just did one thin coat of that over the concealing base in case any of you are curious about what colors I used. But I have shown this combination before in another live when I did like, I think I did some sort of, um, what was it? I think it was like a, a butterfly manicure for, was it a Met Gala look? Or I can't remember, or was it a Britney Spears look? But either way, it is such a cute combo and I highly recommend you try it out. Use our concealing base with any of the Moonbeams colors. So for this, we're just doing a really simple look. And I think the white flames look so good for this. Whoa, where did all that polish come from? <laughs> um, and that's it. So it could be really simple just like this. It doesn't have to be super complex if you're not really into the flame style. I think something cute like this looks really good. Dang, where did all that polish come from? How'd that get there? Is it always there? <laughs> did I have that when it started? Oh, 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 wait, here we go. 
shoot. Oh, well, that is the life. <laughs> um, okay, so the next combo we're going to do is going to be a layered combo. Actually, no, we're, I told a fib. We're not going to be doing the layering combo next. We're going to be doing a gradient combo. So I'm going to use... This is Pumps B463, which is a really pretty pink. And I'm going to put it here. And then on the other half of the nail, I'm going to use, or not the other half of the nail, the other half of the flame, I'm going to use Pumpkin Head B254. So I'm just going to put half of it down just like that. Yes, we're doing gradient combo flames next, right now. <laughs> um, and then you're just gonna scrape like this. You see? And I made a nice gradient. And then, oh no, oh no, look what happened. All right, round two, we're gonna do it again. So just gonna clean off my plate and we're gonna try one more time. So use pink as the base for your flame and then at the tip of your flame, you're gonna use orange like that. And then you're going to take your scraper card and scrape it a couple of times until it creates a nice flawless blend like that. And now we're picking up the design. I'm going to get rid of all that excess stuff because we don't need it. And then we're just going to stamp this on. like that. And if you want, and you want to complete it, you can go ahead and do that again. So I can show you, whoops, I can show you what that looks like. I'm just going to move this one over. <clears throat> so had I planned this out a little better for this, I would have gone and taken both flames. So like this, and then gone with the pink and did that. So now I have two flames. So it makes it easier, that way I don't have to re-stamp so many times. And then you just do that until it's blended. And then you're gonna take your clean stamper and pick it up. So. I don't know if you caught that, but I ended up using my stamper horizontally instead of vertically because I was able to pick up the flames even easier. And then you can just take it and go ahead and like do something like this. So I'm just going to kind of layer it like that. And then because I want to fill in that gap, I'm just going to put that pink there. Then you can go ahead and do the same for the other side if you want. I'm gonna try and overlap here. And then if you have any gaps, I have leftover polish here, so I'm just gonna fill that in and get all those little weird bits out. And now look. So if you're wondering why I didn't use this large image, you can totally do that if you want, but I wanted like bigger flames. And when you look at this image, these flames are a little bit smaller for a different size nail, but I wanted like the big flames. And for those of you who are asking, I used pumps and pumpkin head 
for the pink and orange. So that is design number two, which is gradient flame. Okay, now I'm gonna show you design number three. And this is going to be a fun combo as well. I'm gonna just clean off my plate. Whoops. So we have different flame sizes for the different nail shapes and nail sizes. Um, so it just depends how you want to go about it. I want to do a blue flame. So give me one sec. Okay. So I'm going to use a nice turquoise blue. I'm gonna pick this up. Whenever you do um, layered designs like this, make sure to stamp your solid etch design first and then go ahead and do your outline. It will make your life easier. So there we just applied our blue base and now I'm going to take a nice bright green. Yes, blue and purple would be another really pretty combo. And the green that I'm using comes from I think the Schools Out collection. It is a really nice bright neon green. Also, what did everyone have for lunch today? And now we're gonna go ahead and layer that. Okay, so because I'm on camera, give me a moment since I'm trying to make sure I line that up. Holy guacamole, it lined up beautifully, yay! <laughs> the struggle on camera is real, so I'm happy it worked out. Oh, here we go. So now you see the blue and lime green combo. I want to say the blue is frosty. Okay, now the next combination we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to start layering some of these designs. So we are going to layer these three right here. And for this, I'm going to be using orange red and yellow can be whatever orange you want i'm trying to think should we go from dark to light or light to dark what makes more sense to all of you dark to light or light to dark tell me in the comments Light to dark, dark to light, dark to light. Okay, we have a tie. Dark to light, all right. Dark to light, it, oh wait, light to dark. That's now it's tie. <laughs> dark to light, okay, got it. So if we're gonna do dark to dark, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I think, I think we got it, so. For this, I'm going to start with yellow first, and then you're going to stamp this on. So this color is, what is it called? Let me see. Lasso. And then you're going to go ahead and put it at the base like that. Then you're going to take pumpkin head. And we're going to do the smaller flame right next to it. Seems like we had some really um, good, good lunch options today. Then you're going to layer 
your small flame in the center of your big flame. They don't have to line up. As you can see here, it doesn't line up and that's perfectly fine. And then you're gonna take a little bit of red. I see it's dinner time for some people, breakfast time for others. What did I have for lunch today? I think I had, oh, I had roti and then I like had bacon bits. So I just threw bacon bits in the pan and then cracked an egg on top of it. And then I put that in the roti. And then, voila. And now you have a little flame and it goes from light to dark. So we have our yellow, our orange, and our red combination. And then, so that is, I showed you outlines, the layered outline look. I showed you just an outline. I showed you how to layer these three. And then I wanna show you a classic flame look that I always think looks super good. See, I'm gonna say I wanna use this flame for that. So I wanna say that one of the most classic flame looks that there are out there, I bet Carrie can guess this, um, is just using black. I might even wanna do this to make my life easier. So, one of the most common flame looks I see for nails is just black and nude. And so I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Oh, uh oh. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Nice. And if you have any weird bits, just cover it with the edge of your stamp like that. And then go ahead and do one more flame. You don't have to use the same flames over and over again like I'm not. So you can go ahead and use another flame, especially if it's all the same color, no one's gonna know. So I would say that majority time majority of the time when i see people get flame nails it's just black um they'll do black and then they'll do like stars with it so for example they'll do this and then they'll have like little stars up here um like four point star kind of thing and then that's it If you think that there's any weird spots, you can always go ahead and then just add a little bit more with whatever's left over on your stamp. So that's what I just did. Can you see? Oh, I should have done the, I, that was so silly. I could have totally created like the emoji flame, but I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, so now I wanna show you a flame design that I saw that was super cute. Um, and it's on the thumbnail for this live. Let's see, what color was it? I want to say, here, I'll, show, I'll keep this all in the image. Okay, I'm going to use this design here. So we're going to need to tilt the plate. And then for this, you're going to need to double stamp. And it's because when you work with the color that I'm going to be using, you're going to just 
you're gonna need it because one of the colors that I'm gonna use isn't even meant to be a stamping polish it's a regular polish but it looks so good as a stamping color um, but because of that it needs a little extra love so we're gonna take this and we're just gonna stamp the white design I think I saw a question about coming out with something. Let me see what happened. Be nice over Chrome. Yes, okay, so for those of you who are mentioning Chrome, Chrome looks so, so good with flames. But I'll leave that for all of you to kind of play around with. Okay, so for this, I just did a white base and you will see why in a sec. And then you're going to want to clean off that same design that you used earlier. Oh, oh my god. I used the wrong nail, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, one more time, one more time. Well, we're just going to have to do it again. So, ah, uh, fine. Actually, I'll just use this make our lives easier. So I'm gonna use the large flame section, right? Sometimes an oops happens. Oh, oh, look at that. I just dug out the polish. Okay, also note to everyone, that is the reason why you do not scrape in that direction. I don't know why I thought I was going to be the exception to the rule when I always tell you not to do that. But <laughs> I'm happy you caught me doing that because that'll be a reminder to always scrape in the opposite direction of the design. Since this is a horizontal design, I should be scraping vertically. It's because my brain is on autopilot right now. <laughs> Trying to talk and do all the things. Okay. Yes, happy accidents is right. Okay. There we go. That's what we want. Perfect. So now we're going to line this up and do it like that. Okay. Yay. We got it. Now we're gonna do this again. So clean off that design one more time. Ooh, we need a lot more acetone for this. So I started putting my acetone in a spray bottle and I like it. I like it better than using the pump. Not as much comes out, but that could also be a really good thing. Okay, now you're gonna take high voltage and also a nice neon green. I'm gonna be using the one from School's Out Collection. I'm gonna just kind of tilt this a little bit. Give me one sec. Okay, so I'm using this bright neon green from School's Out. Oops. And then I'm going to take high voltage. And again, high voltage is a regular polish. It is not meant to be used as stamping, but I really love the color and it's so pretty. And I just thought it would be perfect for this kind of look. And that's what you're going to end up with. This like fun neon thing. Oh, oh, and then you're gonna layer it over and you're gonna have a fun kind of gradient lime green look so if you're feeling that <laughs> um, Disney villain vibe, this is the perfect look for you. 
I did a purple and black gradient and then I did a neon yellow and green gradient. And these are the designs that we've created so far. I think I wanted to show you one more, but I accidentally used the tip in the wrong way. That drives me crazy. Okay, let me see if I can like apply black over. Yes, it's very much Maleficent vibes. It's giving Maleficent. It's giving Ursula because she had a lot of black and purple. It's giving pretty much every Disney villain because if you actually look at a lot of the Disney villains, um, the color story that they use is always black, purple, and lime green. And that's just like a thing, apparently. I found out because um, one of our old corkers, who was a videographer, he explained that anytime like evil is portrayed in movies, um, usually the colors will be green, black, or purple. Sometimes red. But once he told us that, I kind of started paying attention and he was right. A lot of times in movies, if they do have like some kind of color, like the villain is always wearing one of those three colors or has it in the background or some kind of funky lighting. Okay, so we have to wait for this to dry a couple of seconds. And then because I accidentally mess this up, I'm going to do it the inverse and you guys are going to see. So originally I wanted to do like, you could do like a gradient base down and then stamp this over. Yes, even the Joker, the Joker is usually green. Um, but I am going to stamp this in white instead. So that way you all can see what it looks like when you do it inversed. Oh, and in regards to a spray bottle, I'm using a glass one. That seemed to work for me for acetone, but there are acetone resistant plastic bottles. You just have to double check the listing that you're looking at to make sure it is. Or if it allows like um, polish thinner or anything like that, like, uh, sorry, not polish thinner, paint thinner, it's going to be ast acetone resistant. But the glass spray bottles have seemed to work for me. Now you just have to get rid of all this like weird junk up at the top. So I'm just going to use my handy dandy um, sticky stamper station to help me get rid of these weird bits. And then whatever I can't get, I'll just use my scraper card. Okay, so that is done. Now you're going to go ahead and take this. stamp on the design and then you have an inverse oh the joker is purple and green oh yeah yeah yeah. i remember like the outfit being green but i couldn't remember if there are any purple accents see i told you all well not i told you my corka told me <laughs> and then i told all of you <laughs> but this is this is a thing Oh, what? The outfit is purple for the Joker? Oh my god. Really? For some reason, I thought it was like green sequins. Maybe I'm thinking of Poison Ivy. Oh, interesting. Right? Okay, so... You... Exactly. But the point is, as you all see, the more villains you name, the more you realize they either have purple or green black and green you see <laughs> Neil was right um but I thought Jim Carrey was green I think that's why I'm thinking of that I thought he had like a green sequin suit but again it's been a very long time wait the Riddler 
Oh, oh man, I'm really... Kara knows I'm the worst when it comes to this kind of stuff. <laughs> you weird. You you all are talking to the wrong girl. My husband always jokes with me that he's like, how do you not know any of these references? And I told him, I was like, basically just assume that before 2002, I was living under a rock. So anything pre-2002, no clue. Not a single clue for pop culture references. So many things he's talked to me about. And he's like, wait, you don't know about this? And I was like, no. I have not a single clue. Just so bad. So bad. <laughs> Any kind of pop culture, movie stuff, movie trivia, I'm not the one. I'm really not the one. <laughs> Kara's probably laughing over there because she knows I'm the worst when it comes to these things. Nails is my specialty. <laughs> yep, exactly. Devin knows nails. But... Anyways, that's pretty much all I had to show you all. So do you guys have any questions? Because we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nails in 30 minutes. Oh, yes, I am rock dweller. <laughs> Me and Patrick just hiding under a rock. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm here for nails. Yes, what was your favorite flame design? shimmers I think you could do toppers over this I think you could do um moonbeams any of our glitter polishes would probably look really cute with this or under the blue flame this one I know the blue flame came out super cute the black one with the green huh pink and orange purple and green yeah Carmilla, I can't tell you. I can't say. I'm sworn to secrecy. Mm, I really like the way the blue and green came out too. I thought it, ooh, whoops. I thought it was cute when I saw it, but um like I looked up some inspo images of what color combinations people were using and a lot of people used literally this specific color the light blue like a teal blue and a lime green and i was like hmm i should just give it a shot um but i would say that what people actually wear the most common thing i've ever seen is the black flames black flames on a nude base and part of the reason i selected a nude base which i'm using ballet flats or for this i'm using concealing base um, the reason I selected a nude base is just because I think it looks so good. Like, the flames are the statement, so I feel like the base can be something chill. Or, you know, like, if you're doing something a little bit more subtle, this would be a really cute combo. Do you have any sun rays to do a flame in? Unfortunately, I... I don't think I have the sun rays collection on me. You know, it's kind of funny because even though... I am the maniology educator. I don't even have all of the polishes we carry. I bet some of your collections can put me to shame. Um, yeah, I don't have every single polish. And part of the reason is because I'm just running out of space. <laughs> I have a lot of nail products and it's just getting rough. But you could do so many fun things with this. This plate is definitely going to be an essential for a lot of people, I think. That's why we wanted to create a flame plate. And then you could even like layer things. For example, this can be layered with this. Well, I'm like, mm, let me see. Yeah, you could, you could layer it. Let's try. I'm gonna just try it real quick. I'm going to use black for this. So, how do you do two colors sweeping all the polish off? So, for two tone flames, 
you're just going to scrape. Like you're going to put down both your colors and then just scrape multiple times. And that'll give you what you want. Okay. So I added a little black on the end. And I'm not mad at it. It looks cute. With the double flame action. What do you all think? So... I stamped this design and then I stamped this, right? This is very strong Maleficent vibes. If I wanted, we could even stamp this over. What color would I stamp that over in though? I suppose black. Let's see. Oh, what if I did the outline in blue? Whoops. I have an idea. You know, sometimes my best ideas happen um, unexpectedly and then like at the last second. So we're going to try and add some blue. If you're wondering why am I doing this off camera, it's because, like I said, I don't have every single polish that we carry. And also, some of the polishes that I have are the sample bottles that do not come in our official bottle. But I don't want to throw them away because I don't want to waste it. Especially if it's a color that we brought in, you know, I that's a whole bottle of polish that I would just prefer not to waste. So I usually take the sample bottles that are in this, like, weird... Um, unbranded bottle and then I just use it at home because I'm like well no one's gonna see it but then there are times like this where someone does see it <laughs> so that's the only thing about that oh whoop. well she did not layer as perfectly as I wanted her to but I mean, I don't think it looks terrible. Like that could be fun. That could be so fun, especially if it was layered up properly. I could totally see this being really cute. Would I use a shiny or matte top coat? Ooh, I think I would use a shiny top coat. Mm, I'd use a shiny top coat. I would use my smudge free and then I would use a shiny over. If I'm like actually gonna wear this. Fireberry vibes, yeah it does. I know, I didn't line this up perfectly and that was a bummer, but I think the color combos look good together. I've got fuzz and polish everywhere that is my life <laughs> in more ways than one <laughs> okay well it looks like you guys have all your questions answered and i really enjoyed today's live with all of you i got a chance to show you a bunch of fun things and I hope you enjoyed this and make sure you check out this plate because this plate is super awesome. M372, it's covered in polish, but I think you all can still see. If not, it's linked in the description below, so you can just go ahead and click it. I could totally see the pinstripe thing. Well, thank you, everyone. I hope you guys have an amazing week. We'll talk to you a little later. See you on July 11th. Bye, everybody.